here we go. <clears throat> no, I need a dramatic appearance. What up everyone, my name is Mike and you guys are watching Mr. Mike 12,000. This video before I begin is being recorded on the iPhone 7 Plus. So, this video is going to be consisting of how to fix any problem you have with your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. Now, in my previous video, which you guys can find in the description box below, I talked about three major problems with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Again, you can check that out, link is in the description box below. But, for this video, I'm going to be telling you how to fix it. I worked with Apple uh, over the weekend, I worked with them for about four or five days to resolve the, these problems with my phone, and life is good again. The iPhone is working, I'm happy, they're happy, we're all happy, and I want you guys to be happy happy as well too because you're spending all this money on this brand new iPhone and um, it's giving you problems so that's why you're watching this video to get it solved and you don't have to deal with Apple for a weekend like I had to. Um, anyways so this is how you're going to do it. You're going to be doing this by a couple steps. The first thing I simply want you to do is I want you to power off your phone. Now there's probably several ways that you think that you have to do this. I'm going to list all the steps right here as well. Um, so the first one is to power off your phone. Simply just hold down the lock button by itself, no other buttons, just the lock button, until it says slide the power off, you're gonna slide the power off. Wait about 30 to 60 seconds after it turns off, not while it's turning off, wait when it's off. 30, 30 to 60 seconds and then power it back on. After that, if you have a passcode, obviously enter that, go to your home screen. After that, wait about one to two minutes and then I want you to do another power cycle. Basically saying, now instead of just holding down the lock button, I want you to hold down the lock button and the home button. What basically this is going to do is create the Apple logo to appear on your screen. Your screen will go black and the Apple logo will appear like I just said. Uh, once that appears, let go of both buttons. So you're going to be holding down on the lock button and the home button until the Apple logo appears. Once it appears, let go. Then your phone's going to basically reboot, reboot, restart. After that happens, simple again, type in your passcode, get onto your home screen. The third step is to hold down the lock button and the volume rocker down button which is located on the left side of the phone. So you're not holding down the home button, you're just holding down the two side buttons now, your lock button and your volume rocker down button. As you do that, same thing is going to happen in step two. Um, the Apple logo is going to appear, once that appears, let go of both buttons um, and then your phone is going to reset one more time. Again, between steps two and three, wait another one to two minutes. Now onto the last and final step. Uh, last and final? Yeah, we're gonna say last and final. I'm making up my own language now. Last and final step, the fourth step, <clears throat> you need to power off your phone again. So hold down the lock button, just the lock button, slide the power off, wait about 30 seconds until it is off officially because, <clears throat> wow, that was weird. Wait about 30 seconds until it is, is officially off uh, because it does take time to turn off. Um, and then once that happens, uh, I want you guys to get like a paper clip. I'm looking if I have a paper clip and I don't. You guys know what a paper clip looks like. But I want you guys to get a paper clip and you're gonna pop out your SIM card. Now you're not gonna take it out of the tray, you're just gonna pull it out of the phone, hold it out for like five, 10 seconds, let the phone like adjust to not having a SIM card. I want you guys to pop that right back into the phone power your baby back up and your phone should be good to go. That's all you guys have to really do to fix any problems with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Uh, you could also restore the phone, which I didn't do, um, but the things that the Apple guy told me were simply what I just told you guys, and it helped me. It helped me, my phone has not had any service since, or it had, a... since then my phone has had service the whole entire time. So if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or any of my videos in particular, please leave them in the comments box below. Remember to give this video a big, big, big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, if it did help you, or if you are getting or do have the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, and subscribe to Mr. My 12,000 for the greatest and latest updates, blogs, and reviews. I'm out as usual, guys. See you in my next video, and this has been Mr. Mike 12,000. Peace.